Hello, welcome to this video. It's probably not too far-fetched to say that I probably favor a little bit more QuickBooks over the likes of Xero and everything else. Possibly. But one thing I definitely can say is that I am certainly a Mac user more than a PC user. And generally the whole Apple ecosystem as opposed to the Windows, which means I've kind of neglected some of the actual Windows first elements to QuickBooks. And that's what this video is all about. In fact, what we're gonna do is explore the desktop app in QuickBooks Online, which is only available for Windows. So join me as we brush out an old Windows device and hope it works as intended. We'll see how it goes. But this one should be interesting because I'm really interested to know what that QuickBooks app has in store. Join me. Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer, fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of account here at Bothix. Now let's go and explore straight away what this Windows app has in store. Because I'm actually quite intrigued by the concept. The concept would be that you have a desktop app for QuickBooks. Sounds good to me, doesn't it? Let's go and have a look. Okay then, so straight away we're gonna get ourselves into this system. Okay, so to be 100% transparent on here, this is a US file. And if I go to the company cog, and it's US for advanced company. If I go to the company cog and I go to get the desktop app, it brings up here. It talks about the fact that we can sign in and stay connected. We can find common tasks faster and we can work efficiently in multiple tabs. Download for Windows. So I click the download button, it comes up with QuickBooks Advance, I open the file. It goes through installing your app, which sounds good. Quite like this green and black that they've got here, it looks quite nice. Okay, again. Don't you just love Windows, eh? Let's try that one again. We're installing your app. Oh, here we go, here we go. Okay, this bad boy. Uh, Windows, um, okay, allow access. And so I've signed in. Awesome, so guys, I've signed in. Loading this up. Get the QuickBooks desktop features you're used to. We made the app experience similar to the QuickBooks desktop, so getting started fast and easy. Okay, well, let's go then. It looks like there's a little toggle there. You can switch between the two, I like that. Welcome. Stay signed in, work with multiple tabs, open at once and flip between multiple companies all from one app. I like the idea of that one. Uh, find tasks with familiar views. So you've got the test desktop view at the top there. Let's see what else we've got in here. Work seamlessly with multiple tabs open. Open as many tabs as you like in the app and flip between companies. Oh, I like that idea. Now I keep them open at once so you can have multiple companies open. I love that idea. Right, okay. So the idea would be that if I was to jump into, say, this one. Oh, that's interesting. So this left-hand bar here is always there. Okay. Um, and you do have the option to... Oh, it stops it, but it seems like the other option is there. But this side here is always going to be there, which gives us an opportunity to be able to go in and just edit this left-hand navigation one. So if I edit something here, ah, oh, I can put some shortcuts into place. I can make this feel very similar to every client I go in. And I don't have to redo this each time. This is going to be staying consistent for each one of the different companies I go in. I absolutely love that one. Brilliant. Um, and then if I switch between a client, let's get to Boffix, for example, this left-hand panel, just exactly the same. Now, if I go from desktop view, okay, so as soon as I turn that left-hand side off, I've got my normal view on the side, okay. And when I turn it back on, this is what I'm at. So this is giving me that desktop view feeling. So home-wise, I'm going straight into the area that I remember. So this is the opportunity for me to see in all of these little options here. And I can see exactly what's going through there, which is brilliant. If I jump in the income tracker, for example, straight away, I can see it's just taking me to those areas that I, I would want to. So I've got my invoices and everything there. Expense tracker, it's gonna take me to the expense area, that's cool. Reports, it's gonna take me to report. So this left-hand panel is pretty much like I'm still in my desktop experience. 
Um, I can see cash flow hub. It's going to take me to my cash flow area. Snapshot. We're in a business overview area. We've our new customize option just here. Customers, vendors, employees, banking. I know banking will just take me to my standard banking area, but it's still still be good to see this though. That's awesome. But user management taking me straight to the user area. Got my invoicing area. Okay, yeah. Bill. Takes me to a bill. And obviously it's giving me that chart of accounts at the bottom. Uh, we can edit our shortcuts as well. So if I wanted to, I can click on here and I can delete things. I can even add a new shortcut at the bottom. Let's have a look what I can add. I think that desktop view is going to be really useful for some people. I think a lot of people like that. The fact we can have multiple companies open, so I could open up here and maybe be in a different company at that point and view someone else in the list and someone else in the group and I could flip between the two. Um, I could have an expense tracker on one and then move between them. Especially if you've got some company, if you've got some sort of company one there, that could be quite useful. But we have our options at the top here. The option to open a new window, print, zoom in, zoom out, check for updates. Let's see if there is any updates available. So maybe I want my workbook to be here as my work papers to be there. And I want that to be a, a new shortcut. I can go in and put work papers and create another shortcut there. So switch between apps and go straight to work papers if I want to. Got this handy little option down here where I can see what's open. I can go between them quite easily. And it does give you a bit of a preview of what open you've got there. So I like that. I think that's a nice little feature and I can close it down by clicking there. Um, what other options we got? Well, we've got the file option at the top here where we can check for updates, zoom in, zoom out. Got the list option where you can bring in some of those lists. That's quite useful. Don't have to go into that settings area. Company, we can see some here. So I'm not sure why some of them have got stars next to them. Uh, let's have a look. Is that because it's an advanced feature? I say stars lightning, isn't it? Uh, it could be because it's because it's an advanced feature, possibly. Um, we've got customers, vendors, employees, banking. So you can go straight into connect a bank directly from here, which is quite cool. Reports. Uh, the report center actually is pretty good because it's given us the opportunity to get to our performance center, company snapshot. So I click on company snapshot, I assume it's going to go straight to the company snapshot report. No, it takes me to it. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. But from a report section, I could go performance center. But the main reason why this gets people excited is for power users. So what we can do is we can go to the shortcut area, which I believe is file and list and help. And there it is, keyboard shortcuts. Uh, and we click on all, and we've got all of these shortcuts to use. Let's see if any of these are quite useful. So we've got shortcuts, view your company ID. Well, that's always been there, but it is actually now on a quicker F2 option as opposed to having to do the control alt delete. So I suppose that's something. Quick easy button to get to search is F3. So that could come up there. What this does give you options for is add something like a loop deck or a I've got a stream deck and then you could have these options and these shortcuts already there. So that's something quite nice that you could consider. Uh, create a new check, create a new invoice, so just control I. So we're going to pair ourselves to a standard online version, uh, control Alt, and that one, I mean, all the shortcuts, if anything, the shortcuts might be able to uh, use control and I, control and W, control and E, expense. I'm not seeing really anything there that's, if anything, there's more. Um, so if I do control E, bring, oh no, control Alt E. Yeah, control alt e brings me up my estimate there if i go back to here maybe control e will do it no so i mean technically we're losing shortcuts here which is a bit of a disappointment um but the idea is this, instead of having to control alt and it sometimes works sometimes doesn't it's always going to work so if i go control w for example it's going to be the opportunity to create a new check and i can put that check straight in on the, on 
this version here, oh, clicking wrong button there, on this version here on the on the desktop app. Um, but if I do Control Alt W, maybe I have to be on here, Control Alt W. Yeah, so from a shortcut point of view, you have to be on the main page for you to do it, or at least not in a transaction already. Whereas I believe on here, if I was already in a transaction like I am now, and I wanted to create a new invoice, I'd literally just put control I, it's gonna take me straight there. So, you know, the shortcuts are a little bit quicker to do. The date ranges are exactly the same. You get the option to jump between fields, those standard text editing. <laughs> There's a shortcut here. If you want to delete something to the left, you press delete. If you want to delete something to the right, you press backspace. Is that a shortcut? <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I mean, that shortcut works everywhere. So, okay, cool. So there we are. This is the app. Am I rushing out to move over to the Windows world just to get this app? Probably not. And that's why I think ultimately I don't see how this is gonna catch on. We've got not had it in the UK yet, probably for this reason. I mean, there's some really good positives here. The positives are that it's giving more of a desktop feel to it. I think the problem is the people who are moving from desktop to online are not going to be impressed by this because yes, it's more familiar for them. Yes, they're gonna feel more at home in terms of where everything are, but they're still gonna have that functionality that they're still lacking. And I think ultimately this is where this fits in. Because of that, because we're lacking in that functionality, I don't think that's gonna help us as much going forward. I mean, <laughs> final point is that it's the old Intuit logo at the top there. So I think if it's the old Intuit logo, that kind of gives us an indication of how this has been used. But what do you think? Have I missed the mark? Is there an actual use case for this that you think is going to be revolutionary. I think the idea of an app actually does appeal to me. I think the idea of having a solution for power users to get the most out of QuickBooks, something quicker, something that's easier, I do like. There was this notion as well that maybe the app itself could create more of a hybrid solution that, you know, if you're on the train, for example, and you're going along, going along, going along, well, Maybe if you're disconnected for a few minutes at a time, it's not the end of the world. And maybe for a few minutes at a time, it could then resync itself. Technically, I think that's a real big ask. But I think if you could go down that route, and it could be down to the fact that that the app is something that works with you and gives you an opportunity to, you know, not have to have an internet connection at all times, I could see that being a huge game changer. I think from a technical point of view, that's a lot to ask for but I do see how that could completely change the way that everything is. But that's really all I can see it for. Yes, for power users, we love the idea of it, but actually, ultimately, I think I'd still just jump into the browser. There wasn't enough shortcut options or anything like that that makes me think, actually, I could completely change the way that I'm dealing with QuickBooks here, and I could have an opportunity to have a better solution. So there we have it, the QuickBooks Online desktop app. Is it a gimmick? Or is it something that you think that QuickBooks should get more involved in? Let us know in the comments below. I'd love to know your opinion on it. I'd love to find people out there who are using this app and actually getting a lot of benefit out of it. We don't have it here in the UK yet. And if I'm completely honest, I don't see it's gonna come anytime soon. But hey oh, I could be completely wrong. For now at least, that means I don't have to jump to the Windows side of things just to make sure I'm on the latest and greatest QuickBooks Online. My name's been Aaron Patrick. Don't forget, if this content's been good for you, then don't forget to go and put some little like and subscribe and all that sort of stuff that we do on this channel. This channel is growing from strength to strength and it's all thanks to you guys. My name's been Aaron Patrick. You guys have been amazing as always and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.